we discuss uh, one interesting practical that practical the first practical is known as mass multiplication of trichoderma viridi so let us see so mass multiplication means what we have to multiply the trichoderma viridi fungus in mass quantity to meet the demand of farmers because as we know that number of uh, biocontrol agent are available for control of plant diseases for example trichoderma viridi bacillus subtilis pseudomonas fluorescens they are available in soil but it is not available in enough amount so that we need to multiply the biocontrol agent in to meet the demand of farmers with the help of suitable laboratory techniques because that trichoderma viridi bacillus subtilis or pseudomonas fluorescens they control a different soil borne diseases for example root rot stem rot wilt disease pthm phytophthora most of that soil borne disease is easily controlled with the help of that biocontrol agents so that's why we need to multiply that trichoderma viridi or pseudomonas or bacillus that is we multiply that biocontrol agents okay so first step for the mass multiplication of trichoderma viridi fungus is the preparation of mother culture so you know that number of media is available and on that media we grow the trichoderma viridi among that a uh, one media is available for the mass multiplication of trichoderma it's molasses yeast medium how that molasses yeast medium is prepared so first molasses we have to take 30 g yeast 5 g and distilled water we have to take 1000 ml so very simple procedure for that so simple we have to take a 1000 ml of distilled water and in that distilled water in that distilled water we have to add molasses 30 g and yeast 5 g in that 1000 ml of water then that in that way your medium is ready or prepared that after the preparation of that medium or media that media is dispensed into a conical flask that is whole ingredients along with water the molasses and yeast are poured in conical flask and that conical flask is directly transferred into a autoclave for the sterilization because as we know that autoclave is used for the sterilization of that molasses yeast media because during the preparation of that media some of the microorganisms are enters inside that media so to avoid the contamination that media is sterilized in a autoclave so when we put that media in autoclave we have to keep it as it is for a period of 15 minutes at an 15 lbs or psi pressure at that pressure all the microorganism is completely killed after 15 minutes then in that way your media is completely free from the microorganism that is we complete the sterilization of media after that sterilization of media in autoclave we have to remove the media from autoclave and then that medium is cooled for a some period of time in laminar air flow then that media is inoculated that is after the cooling of that media that media is inoculated or transferred with a a 10 days old fungal disc of trichoderma viridi and then incubated for 10 days for fungal growth for example suppose this is your media that is a uh, molasses yeast media is present here that we already sterilized in autoclave then in, on that media suppose this this is your petri dish in that petri dish there is a growth of already there is a growth of 
trichoderma it takes place and some piece of that trichoderma viridi we have to inoculate or transfer into the molasses yeast media and in that way after that incubation we have to transfer that whole that conical flask we have to transfer that conical flask into a bod incubator so for this is your bod incubator so you know that in that bod incubator we have to we have to put that conical flask for a period of 6 to 7 days or for a period of 10 days so as we know that what is the function of incubator that incubator provides a favorable condition for the growth of that trichoderma viridi that means within 7 to 8 days due to the favorable condition the growth of trichoderma is takes place that is due to the presence of favorable temperature that is you know that the temperature of incubator is 26 plus or minus 2 degree celsius that means 24 to 28 degree celsius temperature and in between that temperature the superficial growth of trichoderma is takes place on that conical flask so in that way there is a growth of trichoderma viridi is takes place and after that growth this serve as a mother culture or that the growth of a uh, fungus whatever the growth of fungus is takes place so the growth from that conical flask is serve as or used as a mother culture then after that how we do the mass multiplication that means from that mother culture we have to multiply the mass quantity we have to multiply that fungus in a large quantity so for that we have to use a one instrument that instrument is known as a fermenter when we visit the uh, kvk baramati there is a bio fertilizer lab in that lab a uh, uh, 150 liters capacity of that fermenter is available so the huge capacity of that fermenter just like an autoclave like machine is present and that autoclave like machine is used for the fermentation so as we know that what is the use of that fermenter in that fermenter we have to grow or we have to uh, first of all we sterilize the media also and we also sterilize the or we also grow the trichoderma viridi that means two processes is conducted in fermentation uh, fermenter first process is sterilization of media is also takes place again and second process is it provides favorable condition for the growth of microorganism so that molasses yeast media that molasses yeast media is prepared and transferred into the fermenter so we have to take a molasses yeast media media in large quantity that is liquid molasses yeast media in large quantity and poured into the fermenter and after that we have to sterilize that media we have to sterilize that media so after 15 minutes that media is completely again sterilized after the sterilization of media the media is cooled after the sterilization of media media is cooled then whatever the previous mother culture as we prepared in previous slide that mother culture the small quantity of mother culture is directly transferred into a fermenter which containing molasses yeast media so as we know that what is the rate of addition of molasses yeast agar media or what is a rate of mother culture that we added into a molasses yeast media so rate is that one fine uh, when you take a 1.5 liter of molasses yeast media or mother culture of that media you have to transfer it into near about 50 liters of a molasses yeast media that means in fermenter first of all we prepared a 50 liters of molasses yeast media and in that media we have to add 1.5 liters of mother culture in that fermenter and put that close that fermenter and put that fermenter as it is for a period of near about 8 to 10 days near about 8 to 10 days and 
after 8 to 10 days there is a superficial growth of that trichoderma is observed superficial growth of trichoderma is observed so a uh, greenish colored growth is observed if you observe the petri dish or uh, if you observe a uh, fermenter so on that fermenter a uh, green colored growth of fungus is takes place over the media so in that way there is a growth of uh, trichoderma fungus is takes place on that molasses yeast media so near about 50 liters here near about 50 liters of culture or 50 liters of near about 50 liters of trichoderma culture is ready then that 50 liters of mother culture is added into a talc powder or as you know that lignite powder blackish color the lignite powder, lignite powder so that liquid trichoderma viride is added into a talc powder and in that way a powder formulation of you know that that living cells or that liquid containing a living cells of trichoderma viride and when that living cells of trichoderma viride is mixed with a carrier that is talc powder or lignite powder so the powder formulation of trichoderma viride is available and that powder form of trichoderma viride is directly applied for the seed treatment or uh, for a soil treatment also so uh, this is about the formulation about this is about a liquid formulation of trichoderma and this is about a solid formulation or powder formulation of trichoderma so a uh, from small quantity of trichoderma viride we have to multiply in large quantity to meet the demand of farmers so in that way we have to multiply the trichoderma viride and when we apply the trichoderma viride to the soils or to the seeds so it also controls a uh, different kinds of seed borne and soil borne diseases for example wilt root rot stem rot pithium etc without affecting any without affecting to the environment that control easily so this is about the mass multiplication of trichoderma viride next biocontrol agent that is called as an mass production of pseudomonas fluorescens so similar procedure is carried out as we discussed in first or previous slide the procedure of mass production of or mass multiplication of trichoderma viride and pseudomonas fluorescens are both uh, both procedure are same only difference in between there the media or the composition of that media so let us see in uh, brief about the mass production of pseudomonas fluorescens so as we know that the first step is preparation of mother culture and for that preparation of mother culture the kings bee media is required so in that kings bee media the composition of kings bee media is peptone 20 g k2hpo4 1.5 g magnesium sulfate 1.5 g glycerol 10 g and distilled water 1000 ml so similar procedure we have to carry out that is all that ingredients that all ingredients are mixed with 1000 ml of distilled water and that contain that distilled water is mixed in a conical flask then that conical flask is autoclaved for the sterilization process for 15 minutes at an 15 temperature again similar after 15 minutes there is a complete sterilization of media is takes place that is there is a complete growth of microorganism which is present in that media is takes place then after sterilization of media we have to transfer the small fungus suppose this is an petri dish which containing the fungus that is trichoderma fungus so that tri, uh, so that pseudomonas fungus sorry this is pseudomonas fungus or uh, pseudomonas bacteria so that pseudomonas bacteria is 
directly transferred into a 1000 ml of water or in that king's b media so we can inoculate the small loop or the small culture of pseudomonas fluorescens and incubated that flask incubated that conical flask which containing media king's b media and along with a small culture of pseudomonas fluorescens so that will be incubated in bod incubator for a period of 7 to 8 days and after 7 to 8 days again same the growth of that fungus or sorry the growth of uh, pseudomonas fluorescens is takes place on king's b media and after the growth of that fung uh, bacteria this is called as an your mother culture so this is about uh, preparation of mother culture of pseudomonas fluorescens next one for that mass multiplication similar procedure is carried out we have to take a fermenter as we previously described we have to take a small fermenter in that fermenter we have to add near about 40 to 50 liters of king's b media or king's b broth as we know that broth is nothing but a liquid form of media on in that king's b media that media first of all when we add the king's b media into the fermenter that media is sterilized for a 15 minutes after sterilization again we have to add a mother culture into a king's b media near about 3 liters of mother culture is added into a 40 or 50 liters of king's b broth then the that incub that fermenter is incubated for a period of 3 to 4 days and within that 3 to 4 days we have to do the just slight stirring then after 7 to 8 days on king's b media there is a superficial or the colonies of bacteria is uh, the colonies of bacteria is multiply on king's b media on that king's b media the number of colonies of bacteria is multiplied so in that way that colonies of bacteria then it mix with that liquid that is 40 or 50 liters of uh, media so this is about a liquid form of pseudomonas fluorescens then that liquid form of pseudomonas fluorescens is directly poured into a suitable carrier that means that liquid form of pseudomonas fluorescens is directly transferred into a suitable carrier like lignite powder that is a blackish colored powder or a talcum powder that is a whitish colored powder so we have to mix that liquid form of pseudomonas fluorescens bacterial broth into a powder form or lign in, into a lignite powder or talc powder and in that way a powder formulation of bacterial culture is also formed so this is about so this is about a uh, liquid culture of bacteria and this is about a solid culture or or powdered form of pseudomonas fluorescens and both that liquid form and uh, that liquid form and powder form of pseudomonas fluorescens is directly again used up for the uh, soil and for the seed borne pathogens to kill the seed and soil borne pathogens most of the harmful bacterial as well as fungal diseases is also controlled with the help of pseudomonas fluorescens for example if you applied a uh, 8 to 10 g of pseudomonas fluorescens in a 1 liter of water so it is sufficient so this is a, this it is sufficient to control the seed borne pathogen so this is about the uh, mass multiplication of uh, pseudomonas fluorescens so in that way we discuss about the uh, mass multiplication or mass production of trichoderma viridi and pseudomonas fluorescens thank you